Hey, uh, YouTube, um, I wasn't planning on making this video, at least today. I was definitely going to make it, um, you know, f for sure, at least sometime in my YouTube career. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't planning on making it today. Um, I was just watching a stream, um, on Twitch a couple, couple minutes ago, um, and it really, it really, uh, I really, um, what's the word? I really, yeah, I felt it. I felt it a lot. Um, you know, it, it really resonated with me. That's the word. It really resonated with me a lot. Cause it's like, like I understand where the, the guy was coming from. The point that he was trying to, you know, announce to the, his viewers and such. Um, and it, it really resonates with me because it's something so important that it's like, it needs, I, I, I know people talk about it, obviously, but it's like, my generation, I feel like, like, the generation after the, you know, what is it, is Gen X, the people from the 70s, I feel like the millennial, like, millennial, what do they call it, millennials, millennials in, in my generation, everything past us, it just seems that, you know, since social media is, like, at its peak currently, you know, I feel like, you know, we're so desensitized and insensitive to everything that's going on around us, including myself. You know, it, it's, it, it's a terrible look for us, like, <laughs> and I shouldn't be smiling, because this is, like, I'm going to start talking about stuff that's, like, terrible, you know? Um, it's like, I do, I kind of do understand why, like, you know, like, baby boomers look at us the way that they do, you know? Like, our, my generation is very stupid sometimes, you know, but all generations are stupid sometimes in their own respective manners. It's just, like, I look at the stuff, like, this is, that's also one of the reasons why I kind of, like, stopped getting on social media altogether, you know, and I don't want to just sound like a oh, I was born in the wrong generation type of guy, because I was born in the right generation. This is the generation that I want to live in. It's just, you know, I'm looking at things, and it's just like, this is grim. This is incredibly grim. Um, So, to, I guess, talk about it. And I don't even, like, you know, if I was, you know, popular enough, I feel like, definitely, I mean, I'm not going to say this to try to push, like, a, a narrative that, you know, I'm actually, like, this overarching caring guy but like what I'm trying to say is so I was watching the stream on Twitch um and and this guy he's like uh, some sort of news reporter he's not really a news reporter but he just likes you know he, he talks about like stuff that's going on in the music industry and such and apparently like this rapper he just got killed um in at Atlanta um literally today I didn't like, I didn't watch the stream to know about, like, you know, his, the, the, the rapper's death. I don't even, I think his name was King Von or something like that. Uh, I didn't watch it too much because, you know, after, you know, I, I found out that, you know, that that's what the stream was about. I, I just decided to turn it off because I'm not trying to, you know, hear about someone's, mur like, that. that's just what's going to bring me down. And that also is, you know, like, stuff, like, me saying that kind of, you know, taps into, like, my central point of this video um so as i was watching the stream for like the 10 minutes that i was in it you know you could see so you know if you guys don't know how like a stream works like a stream someone could be talking at the stream and then on the side of the screen there would be you know a chat like a live chat of people just talking or whatever and, you know, from my years of, you know, being on Twitch and just being on YouTube and all social medias, you know, stuff like this, it, it, it just creates a hive mind of attention, you know, like, it's not genuine. It's just not genuine. Like, especially when someone like passes away, you know, when, when, you know, when something tragic happens, it's, it's not a genuine reaction out of people. You know, it, it, they're doing it for some sort of attention, some sort of, um, like, 
they're doing it out, out of like some sort of attention or they're trying to get like a like a what's the word like an okay from from society like oh i did the right thing by saying or doing said thing when this person passed away like they're trying to get an okay from society you know like for example like what resonates with me in that stream is so in 20 2018 um the rapper mac miller he passed away um and i was still in online school at the time i think it was it was my last year 10th grade um and i was i was i don't want to self-diagnose and say i was depressed but i was extremely sad i think i said i was depressed but you know i wouldn't i guess i wouldn't truly know i would just I, like to be on the safe side I, I would just say i was very i was extremely sad um and i don't know people like to listen to i guess sad music when they're sad right or just any i guess any type of music because i guess his his latter his latter albums were kind of sad um but you know i used to listen to, so i got on to mac and i was listening i think the first project i listened to was his uh kids mixtape in 2010 um but i was listening to it in like 2016 because i just i started listening to mac like in 2016 so i listened to kids you know then faces then good am then uh uh swimming is it swimming uh, whatever that album was called that he released um and so when swimming came out that was in like september or something like that or, or it was earlier but then he passed away in september of 2018 something like that uh forgive me if i'm wrong for my you know because that's something serious him passing away you know and so it, it really struck me because i started listening i started listening to him quite recently at the time because he passed away in 2018 I started listening to him in 2016 and so you know it was like when when I found out the news that he passed away it was like wow that's crazy I just started listening to this man I was just listening to his albums like three hours ago you know it was like stuff like that and like that was like because I know a lot of like singers and, and rappers and you know music artists pass away but it's like when it's one that you know you you uh you actually listen to it hits it hits harder you know because they're related to you in some manner so that really hit me hard and actually i think i was uh i don't think i cried but i was very sad i was like shocked for for quite some time you know um but then and again because in online school i used to like go on twitter and such um because, you know, I had no really, I don't have, I didn't have any real outlet uh, to talk to friends. I didn't have, I didn't have any. So I just went on Twitter and, you know, just to see what the world was, you know, uh, you know, what they thought about the situation or just what they were thinking in general. I go on Twitter and quite literally my entire, what is it called? A timeline? The entire timeline is filled with rest in peace, Mac Miller, RIP Mac Miller, uh, rest in peace Malcolm you know stuff like that and you know it's like it doesn't seem genuine it, it just doesn't seem genuine because it's like I mean and also you know just for the simple reason that it's over text right like you know if you could hear it from voices it might add a little more genuinity gen you know whatever the word is you know but it's like it's all over text and the fact that everyone does it and you po you post R.P. Mac Miller and then in all the replies underneath, it's R.P. Mac Miller. It's like, it just doesn't feel genuine. Like, I feel like people are doing it just for attention or just to make sure that they're doing something well. The same thing goes when, rest in peace, George Floyd, when he passed, he didn't pass away, he got murdered. When George Floyd got murdered by the policeman, you know? And I said this in the in the exact video that I was, you know, bashing social media. You know, I said that it, it like people, and that was when I use Instagram still. Like I saw everybody and you know everybody and their moms, you know, post black squares as pictures, you know, to say like this is Blackout Tuesday or whatever day it was, Blackout Thursday or something like that. Um, you know, stuff like that. It's like, but then literally the day the the day afterwards. Now it's back to them posting pictures of themselves. You know, it's like, 
why did you even do the blackout picture in the first place? Like, that's just, I feel like you're just portraying a trend. Like, I feel like you don't care about it as much. You know, and that's the thing with social media. Because it only, it, there's only extreme sides of social media. If you do one thing, and that's all we see, we're going to think that you're doing that 24-7. You know, if you, like, I don't know how to portray this because... Because I haven't fully figured it out yet, you know, and I, I never will because social media is such a gray area in society, but it runs society like and I'm not trying to sound like I'm smarter than I am because I'm not I'm, I'm just a 17 year old who I, I you know, and this is just me coming from a, you know, I, I like I used to use social media. So like I kind of know like parts of it, but I don't know the full aspects of it. All I do know is that what it seems to be is that it's it's very insensitive to the actual thing that happened. So to the the King Von situation. So apparently he was a rapper who got murdered. Um, and I was watching the stream, and all I see in the chat is "Rest in peace, King Von." You know, R.I.P. King Von. You know, rest in peace, Von. And like like the the streamer said, he was like. When you guys do that, it doesn't seem genuine. It seems like you guys are just pushing out a trend. And that's all it seems like. And it really, it really pains, it pains me to see that. Because it's like, that person really lost their life. And, you know, like, and that's how you want to, that's how you want to, you know, cope with it. Because people will say that's their way of coping with it. But that's, I don't, if that's your way of coping with it, I, I, like, that may be your way, but it, it just doesn't seem genuine. It, it truly doesn't. Like, I don't, I don't, I, I just, I, ah, man, it, it, it sucks. It really sucks because people can be a completely different person on social media than who they truly are on the inside. As I had kind of said in the e-boy and e-girl situation video or whatever. And who they portray themselves to be on social media could be who they truly are. But it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, it, this kind of ruined my good mood. I think it did. It really did. And I don't know. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, does it look like, I feel like, no, I'm not about to cry. Why does it look that way? It looks like I'm tearing up. I'm not tearing up at all. But, um. It, it really does suck to see, you know, and that's kind of why I got off social media because it feels like people are just pushing a trend, you know, George, I, I, I doubt George Floyd or, 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 you know, I doubt, yeah, I doubt George Floyd wanted to be remembered in black squares, you know, or, or, or Trayvon Martin, you know, it, it but I mean, I, I don't think the black squares were a thing for him, but it's like, like when you just come on to social media just to put rest in peace blank, you know, it, it seems like, and, and that's kind of what the streamer was, you know, saying, like he made a great, he made a great simile or metaphor to that. Like, it, it seems like you're just like walking into a grocery store and then you're walking up to random people just to be like, rest in peace blank, rest in peace blank. Like, they didn't ask for that. It, it It's very out of place. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense to do, you know? And then just to, like... Because the thing about the internet is people are always, you know, wanting the new, you know? So it's like... They'll they'll say this for the time being. And then a week later, you know, they're, they're completely off the situation. You know, and no one's saying to continue grieving for a man for a week, or anyone for that matter, not just a man. No one's saying that, and, and you know, but it's like, it, it just doesn't seem right to me. It really doesn't. You know, and I, I just don't like seeing that. I, I really don't. Um, maybe I'm just seeing things from a completely different perspective, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um... It, it, it just doesn't seem right. I, I feel like that's why things like, but then again, you know, everyone's, you know, 
free speech is a thing. Of course it is. You know, no one's trying to derive or, or you know, d divide free speech, you know. Um, it just, it, it sucks to see, you know, when people pass away, it, it sucks to see the internet take it as a chance to, like, be accepted, you know? Like, I did this thing that the rest of society is doing. Therefore, I'm in the right. Therefore, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm respecting their, their death correctly, you know? It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like they're just using it to see if they're respecting the person's death correctly. Like, you can't even, and I remember, I remember I was watching a YouTube video where, you know, the guy was saying, like, you can't even die on the internet correctly because people will use that for views, for attention, you know, like, the internet is just so, it's, it's so insensitive, it's so desensitized, it, you know, and it gives people a false sense of authority, you know, because even people like myself, like, who am I to tell you how you should grieve or how you should cope with a person's death, you know, um, I'm not saying what I'm saying is correct, this is just my opinion, you know, but, it, there's just something about it that just seems so non-genuine. It, it, it truly, it truly just, like, I'm left in a bad mood, and I feel bad. I really do feel bad. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess I'll just, I don't know. I guess that was my little rant, um, about the internet, you know. I really do hate the internet, but I guess, like I said in the other, in the previous video, you shouldn't come onto the World Wide Web, you know, thinking that you're going to get something good out of it. You should come onto it with low well expectations, you know, and I guess, I guess hope for the best, but if you don't, I guess that was to be expected, um, you know, which is why, you know, like, um, what's his face said, um, you should, you should get your roses while you're still alive. Because people will only give you roses at your grave, you know. Um, I would hate—I would hate to be someone famous just for me to die, and then people to use my death as a sense of attention or acceptance. Like that's—that's that's quite insane to me. It, it really is. It really is. I, but I'm gonna be done talking about this because I don't wanna I don't wanna put myself in an even worse mood. So that was it. That was my rant. Um I hate the internet. At the same time I love it. You know, I hate my generation at the same time I love it. You know, hate and love are not two entirely different things. You know? It is what it is though, right? So hey. It is what it is. All right, peace.